the great challenge we have is uh, these long duration flights that nobody does. Because normally you are many in, 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 in one cockpit, at least two pilots, one can rest, the other one is in control, so that's very new. So the first question is how to get to sleep very quickly. So you, you, and the way I did it uh, was to use meditation and breathing techniques to relax, in fact to get away the, uh, the stressful thoughts so that I could calm my uh, heartbeat and really sleep in a few, in a few minutes. Uh, that's what I'm using, Bertrand is using uh, other techniques, self-hypnosis, uh, which I think leads a little bit to the same and have the same goal and maybe leads to the same, uh, to the same benefits, but with a different route. We would like to analyze how deep the sleep is during the short naps that we, he will have during the, the flight. And the interesting thing is that he's going to use also hypnosis. Hypnosis to help him fall quicker into deep sleep. So that he can go faster uh, into relaxation to save energy. And at the end of the exercise tomorrow, or Friday morning that he is able to use techniques which will make it still possible that he is fully alert when necessary. That is the idea. So he's scheduled to have 20 minutes naps and he may have about two to three hours of sleep per 24 hour, which is not much. So he has to be really focused on his different tasks uh, on the plane, even after a few days with very short sleep. For example, what we did uh, just before, he had to keep his attention on his thumb for a moment. And uh, that was uh, the start of the experience. And after, uh, Bernard gave also some uh, suggestions with uh, numbers, uh, he counting from 1 to 12 and back. And this is uh, also a kind of uh, suggestion to keep his attention. Uh, that's it, it's very simple.